Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One, good vibrations. I'd like to ask you a question. So I'm going to leave comments open. I've been alluding to the fact that noise, both human-made and, well, particularly human-made noise, is presenting an increasingly, uh, an increasing challenge to ham radio because consumer electronic devices that produce this kind of electromagnetic interference are proliferating, raising the general background noise level and making it more and more difficult for us radio hams and, by the way, other communication services such as police, fire departments, and civil defense, uh, even the military, uh, is making it difficult for them to communicate because it degrades the signal-to-noise ratio by raising the general overall background noise level. This is not something that we're we're very likely to do anything about by means of legislation or by means of convincing consumers that they need us to save them in their time of need. They're just going to have to wait and find out for themselves what happens and they probably blame us anyway. The point of the matter is this. There are two fundamental differences between signals and noise that I have identified uh, and that I'm sure that you could easily identify as well. First, noise tends to be chaotic, whereas signals tend to be orderly. Those two characteristics can be separated uh, most easily by synchronizing the communications between a transmitter and a receiver, thereby emphasizing the orderliness of the signal and tending to ignore the chaos, uh, which has no particular timing to it. Uh, and that is uh, what the WSJT, so-called WSJT digital modes operate on. They operate according to that principle. The other principle is to use a narrower and narrower and narrower passband to receive the signal, which necessitates a digital signal such as phase shift keying, radio teletype, WSJT, CW, but not voice. Well, that is too wide. You can narrow down, for example, the CW bandwidth to as narrow as 50 hertz, letting in very little noise because the window for it is so narrow. But the whole signal gets through because it's at a single or essentially a single frequency has a much narrower bandwidth. So bandwidth and orderliness are two characteristics that separate signals from noise. They differ and we can separate them out. We being us radio hams and communications personnel can separate them out and devise electronic circuits and devices to take advantage of that difference. But something tells me there's a third factor in there, a factor we don't yet know about, an X factor, the signal versus noise X factor, I call it. And I think it must exist. Just because we haven't found it yet doesn't mean it isn't there. So my question to you is this, what do you think it is? I think it exists. What do you think it is? Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and in my favorite digital fist mode, CW, shall forever, ever, and ever after translate to da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.